Welcome to episode 8. We're at Steel Indian School Park off 3rd Street in Indian School. It's a two acre park right downtown just after 7 o'clock on July 12th on Monday. We're going to go try to find a place to set up and I'll see you guys then. Alright, we're getting close to 7.30 just set up over here on the west side. It's not a very big little pond here. It says two acres. It definitely looks a little smaller than that. It's probably one of the smallest ones I've been to. I've never been here either. Most of these I haven't been to. That's why I'm doing this too, to check them out. So first off, we got a, some bacon out here. Uh, the only thing I've seen so far is turtles. So I'm, hopefully we won't be running into a bunch more of those. Looks fairly shallow. Um, I'm going to start with this little swim shad over here by the bridges or the little walkway here and see if I can't see if there's anything down here if I can get under them something just tore off in the water and left a smoke trail might have been a turtle oh whoa that was a big hit. Something just took that like crazy. Um, I don't know if that's a big ass turtle or if there actually is a catfish in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave my other line in the water. Uh, what is that? It's strong, very strong. I think it's a pretty big catfish. I don't want him to go by my other line. I had to leave it in the water. This guy almost took my pole out of the rod holder. It is a really big catfish. Well, in a small little pond like this, there's not very far to go. I'm just going towards my other line. I didn't get a chance to, to reel up my other line. He hit the pole so hard. It's a decent sized catfish. Want to kind of tire him out a little bit here. Ah. Let's see if we can land him. In this situation, I'm glad I do have that big circle hook on here. Then a small number two. Oh, dang. I think it was turtles that were messing with this at first. a good way to start the day though if we can land him from what I could see he looks like a decent sized one uh, uh, tighten this up just a little bit I don't want it to be too loose but not too tight yeah he's a decent sized one See if I can bring the net over here. I want to keep them away from my other line. Seems like he's getting a little tired. That was on about a quarter piece of bacon. He's bigger than my net. Uh, just about bigger than my net. But a beautiful catfish here. A nice big boy. We'll have to get some measurements on this guy. Uh, come here. Let's get this hook out. Perfect little side hook. Uh, there we go. That's a nice boy. Look at this guy. Look at the size of that one. That's the biggest one we've gotten so far. Let me get my measurements out. Let's see what we got here. He feels about three pounds or so. 
Let's see what we got. Let's we'll start with a measurement. Let's go from the tip here all the way down to the tail. Okay. Stay still. We are right at about 20, 26 inches right here. 26 inches. Let's see if we can get a quick weight on them. We're on kilos. Maybe I was on kilos when I measured that um, other guy the other day. Here's what I'll do. It'll be easier if I measure them in the net and then measure the net separately. So let's try that. All right, let's get a net measurement and then we'll we'll measure the net separately. Okay, so with the net, we're at 7.7 pounds with the net. So we'll get another measurement of the net only and see what the difference is. But these are beautiful catfish. Big boy. Nice way to start the day. Let's get him back out there. All right, guys. That was a nice one. Let's see what this net weighs by itself so we can deduct that from the 7.7. That'll be good to know for the future anyway. Well, I guess I should have put it on the net before I put them in it. Let's see. The net is about a point, point nine-ish. So he was just about seven pounds. Well, it's just after 7.45. We just landed that about seven pound catfish on the other side, channel catfish. Um, and then I got attacked by ants. They were everywhere. So I literally just grabbed all my crap and moved over to this side where there was a picnic bench on the uh, east side of the on the other side of the bridge just because there is no ants over here to to really go crazy there's ants everywhere so i set the pole up out here the catfish pole still using the same bait that i got hit on um that's a great sign though that's the fastest i've caught a fish on any of these lakes so far or ponds i would say after getting here and set up and in the water it was about 15 minutes before i hit that one and now we've walked over here we're going to try our luck on this side for a while, try to stay away from these ants. Um, I switched up the swim bait to the uh, little bluegill storm swim bait. I want to give this a shot. Um, he may have been the biggest thing out here. Who knows? I just saw some water movement right here under this tree. I don't know what that is. Um, so we'll keep an eye out. Maybe there is a few bass in here. And we'll see what we get. It's July 12th, Monday. It's 9.30 a.m. We've been over here at the, the Steel Indian School Park for just over two hours. Got one catfish, nice one, early in the morning, nothing since then. I'm going to be packing up now and head over to another park today, over off 35th and Cactus, called Roadrunner Park. So stay tuned, I should hopefully be there and set up by around 10 a.m. Alright, we just left Steel Indian School. It's 10 a.m., right around 10 a.m. on uh, Monday, July 12th. We now shot down the 51 here over to Cactus to the Roadrunner Park. So, looks like the lake is right back here, just down this pathway. So we're going to head over here and try to find a place to set up. Just after 10 a.m., we're at our second park today here on Episode 8. We're over here at Roadrunner Park off of uh, the 51 in Cactus, off 35th Avenue, right off the main road here. This is a two-acre pond just like the last one over at Steel Indian School. It does look bigger than Steel Indian School. Maybe it's just the way it's laid out. Um, I've seen quite a few turtles already, so hopefully they won't bother the bait. We'll see. Uh, we got a line out in the middle with the catfish pole and some bacon. I'm going to start with a soft plastic here, the little crawdad, and see what we what's down here. It's a very kind of rocky, like cement with rocks built into it going down here on the edges all the way around so we'll see what kind of structures down there it's kind of murky so we'll see lots of uh, pine needles
I think these rocks go all the way around underneath. So I, I can feel the bouncing across them. So I, I wonder if the whole bottom is these rocks. We now moved over to the west side of the lake. Um, catfish poles already getting a little bit of play, which is probably turtles again. But the wind is blowing this way, so most of that debris is on the other shoreline. I don't see all the pine needles and stuff over here, so it'll probably be easier to cast out all through this area. So I'm going to give this a shot. But it looks like we're already getting played with by some turtles and stuff on this side. It's been the story of my urban fishing so far, is turtles. I think I've got more turtles than fish. Goose is got a lot to say. Are you yelling at, you're yelling at me? Am I in your spot? Am I in your spot? Yeah? You remind me of my, my beagle who gets mad and just yells at me. Oh, jeez. I saw that one. That was huge. He gets mad and just yells at me. We're finishing up episode 8 here. Red Roadrunner Pond over off the 35th and Cactus. This morning we were at Steel Indian School, which was over on Indian School on 3rd Street. There we did actually get a catfish this morning. Here we've only gotten, um, I've had some turtle bites. I've seen fish jumping. I don't know if they're carp or bass. I've had no luck. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here. In the next episode, I'll be doing two lakes or ponds again. We're going to be going over to Papago Ponds. Uh, I believe there's three over there, so over by the zoo. So I'll try to hit each one of those in the morning. And if time permitting, I'd like to also head over to Evelyn Hallman Pond, which is very close by. So I'll try to hit two either tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, and then the next one after that will be Tempe Town Lake, which I'm also going to do a morning and an evening one there. So stay tuned. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if there's anything I should do differently or any suggestions. And I'll see you guys in the next video.